Hi, this is Christophe Impeciati for Bistech and welcome to this short educational video in which we are going to discuss how to create a TI script to copy versions within a cube. We are going to use the following, a cube with multiple versions, views and subsets, a TI process, and functions and a prompt. To illustrate what we are going to do, this is a snapshot of the sales plan cube. The script we are going to create will allow the end user to copy a version of their choice to a final version, which is for the moment empty. To do this, I'm going to use TM1 Server Explorer. Right click the processes, create a new TI process. Then on the data source tab, I will select a TM1 cube view click the browse button and for the cube I'm interested in, the sales plan in my case, I'm gonna create a new view. At the bottom of the next screen here I will use the little horseshoe to select a version. It doesn't matter which version you select. After that I will click the next tab, variables, and on this tab I just have to name my variables and specify contents other. Now we are going to do the scripting and for this we are going to use the advanced tab. Before we start I would like to review each tab one by one. The first one is the parameters tab which is used to create prompts if needed. The next tab is the prolog and it's executed only once at the start of the process. Then we go to metadata which is executed once for each cell we are reading. Then the data tab executed once for all the cells again. And finally, the epilogue, which is executed once at the end of the process. In our script, we're going to use the following tabs. The parameter tab, in which we will create a parameter to prompt the end user for the version he or she wants to copy. Then in the prolog tab, we will delete and create a view on a subset that we will use to empty the target cells in the final version and we will do that using a function called view zero out and then we will delete and create a view and a subset that we will use to read the information from the selected version finally in the data tab we will use a function called cell put n and we will write the cells into the final version this is the parameters tab where we created a string parameter called pform. This parameter was created using the insert button on the right hand side of the screen and it has a default value, in this case budget version 1 and we will prompt a question saying which version, meaning which version do you want to copy at the start of the process. So this is a snapshot of the script written in the prolog tab and here we are going to delete a view and a subset. Those guys are used to clean up to empty the target cells in the final version and it says if the view exists equal 1 it means yes I destroy the view and if the subset exists equal 1 yes I destroy the subset. So second section in the prolog tab here where I'm going to create a view, create a subset, add an element in the subset pointing to the final version here assign the subset to the view and finally using the view zero at function empty the target cells. So this is the third section in the prolog tab where I'm going to create the view that I use to read the cells from the version selected by the end user. So if the view exists I'm going to delete it. By the way the view is called from version and then I create that view. Then if the subset called from subset exists I delete it and then I will create it, insert an element in that subset using the prompt, you know, the value in the prompt, select, so that's the version selected by the end user, and then I will assign this subset to the view. Finally, we are looking at the script under the data tab where we are writing the information in the final version. So you see here we're pointing at the final version and we say if the cell I'm pointing to is updatable equal one says yes then I write the information I've read from the view we've created before into the matching cell in the final version. 
So I have prepared all this and we are now in Server Explorer and I'm going to open that cube we are talking about, the sales plan, and you can see this is the final version here and you can see that all the sales are empty and I want to copy the content of that budget version 1 and you can see the numbers I'm trying to copy to that final version. So I'm going to minimize the cube and I'm going to maximize the process I have prepared for you and the process we just discussed. So this is the view I'm selecting from, then the variables, you can see the variables on the left and other on the right hand side. Then the advanced tab where we have the parameters, the prompt, the p from prompt and the question I'm prompting. The prologue, this is the first section of the prologue. Then I'm scrolling down, this is where we do some delete and view creation, empty the target area. Then the next section, we are creating the view I'm going to read from. And then finally, creating that view, assigning the subset to that view. Then finally, in the data tab, this is the area where I'm going to write the target cells. So if I was to close this uh, process, and right click it and say run it you can see the product is prompting for which version do you want to copy so I'm going to select budget version 1 I'm just going to click OK the process runs and I can show you now if I'm going and reopen the cube and select the final version that the numbers have been copied across to understand the syntax of all these functions we've been using in this script you should go in server explorer help online contents and indexed and you will find all IBM Cognos TM1 functions under the reference guide here in the section TM1 Turbo Integrator Functions. Thank you for watching. This was Christophe Impicciati for Bistec and if you have any questions or if you need any assistance please give us a call or visit our webpage at the address on this slide. Thank you very much. Bye bye.